heard. I don't know if she heard Jesus is Lord, but that's what was said. And for you to respond, you're at the wrong rally. I don't care if all she thought was they were pro-life. To your point, Charlie, that is in our past, in the history of America, a campaign killing response. Yeah, I actually said something about that in my last video. I don't know. I don't know if that if she heard Jesus is Lord. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt and say she was responding to the people that were saying that's a lie. Because I clearly heard that too. So I don't know. But what y'all think? The British. Look at this, man. We got to go through security just to get in church. Weird. She had to do some damage control, so she chose to go to the church, a black church at that, try to fix things. Crazy. This is it. Watch this. This is bonkers. Go full screen. This is literally bonkers. And a television star. But does he really want to add president of the United States to his resume? A lot of people would like him to. Please let's find out and please welcome my friend. Donald Trump. My friend. My friend. Watch this. Just watch this. This is nuts. We're in an alternative universe. Okay? Because this is not that long ago. Go standing O. Bro, watch this. Just watch how this goes. Watch this. So she's a Republican. That's easy. Yep. But everybody else. The joy hugs. can't wait to get a hug in. Yeah, everyone's hugging. Look at this. Look at this. Kisses, oh, hugs, kisses oh, to Whoopi. Everybody hugs and kisses. Even Joy Behar. Hugs Even and Joy kisses. Behar hugs and kisses. See? Now watch this. So I'm going to take you at your word that you have not decided yet when you're going to run, but you're thinking about it and you've expressed some of your views, uh, which are controversial and in many ways, uh, yeah, but, but, not, but, not I'll, to her. <laughs> well, not to her. Okay, you're a Republican, so, but, but let's say, let's say that you do decide in the spring, right? Um, and your ideas are, resonate so much. On the other hand, um, you know, we saw Newt Gingrich apologizing for his marriages and divorces. You've had three marriages, two sort of uncomfortable divorces. Do you think no, that the... not really. They were very comfortable. <laughs> well, <laughs> we won't leave you all that. Do you, do you, do you think... Getting laughs right away. Uh, that would bother anybody? I think the country is doing so badly, they want somebody that's going to help it. I think the country is never been in a position like it is right now. It's being ripped off by every nation, every intelligent nation in the world, whether it's China, they're taking our jobs, they're making all our product, and then they loan us back the money we pay them interest. That is whether crazy. Whether it's OPEC. That's crazy. OPEC, which is Look at this, watch this. Field day right now. How about the... Yeah, you know, it's crazy how Donald Trump was once a love up until he started to run for president and everybody hated him. I always wondered why, like, we, we've seen the results of actually getting people who ran for Congress, or I mean, getting people who actually have been in politics most of their lives uh, as a president. We've seen the results of that. It ain't helped us out much at all, right? And then when somebody who has never been in politics come around and he actually fixes things, that's self-explanatory in itself right there. I don't think in our history, Barack Obama or Joe Biden included, no Democrat would respond in that moment the way that she responded. You have to understand the gravity of that response. I don't know what she saw. I don't see the camera from the other angle. I don't know what she internalized. I don't know what she heard. I don't know if she heard Jesus is Lord, but that's what was said. And for you to respond, you're at the wrong rally. I don't care if all she thought was they were pro-life. To your point, Charlie, that is in our past, in the history of America, a campaign killing response. Yeah, I actually said something about that in my last video. I don't know. I don't know if that if she heard Jesus is Lord. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt and say she was responding to the people that were saying that's a lie. Because I clearly heard that too. So I don't know. But what y'all think? The British are coming. You can't make this up. Okay, so Sophia Patel. 
one ex posted that she was bringing 100 volunteers from the UK Labor Party to the United States to help Kamala campaign in swing states. Now, once um, word got out and we started questioning, like, hey, what's going on? Like, this is like um, election, like it is not right, you know? Uh, she scrubbed, or not her, but apparently the party, scrubbed her um, social media, made it private, and then scrubbed the internet. Why are we allowing this? This is how I know. And like, I told my husband, I am prosecuting the case against Kamala Harris. I really am. I am. So it looks like I'm hating, but no, I'm prosecuting the case that she's a fraud. Yo, we need to be praying for Candace Owens for her protection. I don't know if y'all been noticing or seeing lately, but homegirl is like hitting on some truths that is, you know, could get dangerous for some people. She is unapologetically standing up for you know, just the truth and for God and for, uh, you know, exposing things that people don't really want to look at. If y'all seen her series on exposing uh, Kamala and her family line and how she's lying about it, I'm telling y'all, we need to pray for her protection. Because another friend of mine who was an unapologetic truth teller just got sent to federal prison for three and a half years for just speaking the truth on a bogus charge that should have only gotten her probation. Candace is out here killing them. Listen, if more of us were brave like she is, and more of us were speaking out, then it would be really hard for them to punish all of us. So we need to be praying for the protection of Candace Owens and others like her. Yeah, and this is the thing with, with censorship, and that's what Donald Trump is really going for to try to abolish it because it's really getting out of hand. What we gotta say, we gotta, we must protect Candace Owens at all costs because censorship has made it to the point where if you say certain things they can come for you you know and that's the dangerous thing about you know having a platform and wanting to to speak freely and it's and you can't speak freely like you want to and one day you're just gonna break is a border wall stupid well let's talk about donald trump and that border wall <laughs> so remember donald trump said mexico would pay for it come on they didn't how much of that wall did he build? I think the last number I saw is about 2%. And then when it came for time for him to do a photo op, you know where he did it? In the part of the wall that President Obama built. But you're agreeing so to a bill on. that would earmark $650 million to continue building that we, wall. I, I pledge that I am going to bring forward that bipartisan bill to further strengthen and secure our border. Yes, I am. But and I'm going to work across the aisle to pass Com a comprehensive bill that deals with a broken immigration system. I think Jackson's question, part of it was to acknowledge that America has always had migration, but there needs to be a legal process for it. People have to earn it. And that's the point that I think is the most important point that can be made, which is we need a president who is grounded and common sense and practical outcomes. Like, let's just fix this thing. Let's just fix it. Why is there any ideological perspective on this? Let's just fix the problem. If, if, to fix the problem, you're, you're doing this compromise bill. It does call for $650 million that was earmarked under Trump to actually still go to build the wall. I'm not afraid of good ideas where they occur. You know, so you don't think it's stupid anymore? I think what he did and how he did it did, was, did not make much sense because he actually didn't do much of anything. I just talk, talked about that wall, right? We just talked about it. He didn't actually do much of anything. But you do want to build some wall. I want to strengthen our border. Y'all see how she danced around that question. And just to be truthful and honest, man, we know that, that, that Trump built over 500 miles of that wall, which is way more than the Obama administration built. Come on now. Everybody knows that. That was part of his whole presidency, was making sure that that wall went up. That was it. Fentanyl is getting across the border also. This is a rising, rising problem. 
in this country. There's so many kids falling from it, especially with these vape pens. They're like dropping like flies, man. You guys, oh my God, watch this. It's amazing how the entire world reacts to the potential victory of Donald Trump winning the presidency in America. We're seeing crypto markets and other markets across the world react very, very interesting with the news that Donald Trump most likely will win this election. But I wanna say something, guys. I wanna give a huge warning because things can change very, very quickly. But the way these, this might change will shock you. You guys have seen what has transpired this year with DT. And we have, you know, a couple days left before the election, right? If something weird happens before that election and things go the opposite way where the opposite side is, is, is most likely getting ready to win. You're gonna watch that, um, you know how you guys been waiting for that black swan event? You've been waiting for that moment of darkness where everything crashes to come upon us? Well, in that instance, the confidence in these markets will collapse and everything will go to the bottom, I promise you. <laughs> so y'all better, better hope and pray. I'm neutral now. Y'all better pray that Things go this way. I'm out. You got to think about how much damage control that administration does when they mess up somewhere, right? They get frantic, right? And they start doing crazy stuff. What makes you think that if Trump is actually going to win, they won't try to pull an even bigger stunt? Uh, sir. Watch out behind you. Look. Behind you. Crazy and Gallenberg just a random bear casually walking through the alley. And he could have attacked, but but he didn't. And I heard those bears don't attack like that. I think it's the grizzlies that, that, that attack a lot, right? I don't really know. Republicans would take another hour of Kamala Harris. We'd just press play, let her keep going. We'd pay for another hour to let her keep up, let, let her keep not answering the questions. I think Anderson's Anderson's asking her, well, why haven't you done it? You've been there for four years. Why have you done any of this? And the word salad answer she gave to that was just mind boggling. I mean, it's blown up the internet, her answer to that question. Uh, I think the things that are troubling for people were, were, were her responses to, you know, Van said about what are you going to do to reduce costs when they asked her at the beginning? You know, we're hurting economically. She said, I'm going to prosecute corporations, right? That's not going to lower costs. Oh. How are you going to make things more better for me? I'm going to prosecute people. Trump bad is not a message that's going to, uh, it's going to elect, going to get her elected. Trump bad message, I, I disagree with. And it's crazy because she always mentions him. Like, can you answer a question without mentioning somebody else? Can you answer a question without mentioning this man's name? And she hasn't been able to do it. Like, he he has been the focal point of her campaign. That's not good. Family, check this video out. So his leg is broke. The only thing we own is the stuff in the car. TV in a car, PS5 in a car, the electronics in the car, it wasn't even in the truck. So I really could have kept my family pictures. I really could have kept my my yearbooks. I'm not even tripping about fuck the furniture. It's simply my memories, my graduation book, my my like all my dance bags that I've had since I was a fucking like stop fucking start dancing. Like my 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 child fucking birth certificate and shit. My first certificate is shit. Like, it's not, it's not about the furniture. Y'all, y'all, it's like, I don't care about no motherfucking bed. I don't care about no motherfucking mattress. I don't care Jeez, about a her. motherfucking dresser, baby. Even if it's serenities, I don't care because I can buy it again. I just feel like my, my privacy, like, everything is gone. Like, somebody can take our information. Somebody can do anything. It's like, it's not about that. It's about our sense of security is gone. Like, it's not about the furniture. Fuck the furniture. I did, well, I did not fuck the furniture because that shit was expensive. Then that truck was expensive too. I could have left that truck there and left the furniture too if I was just afraid to get stolen, but just like. The motherfuckers on my live talk about, oh, you doing this for some new hair, girl? Fuck this hair. I've been walking around my head looking like this for a week. 
with all my friends. I don't give a fuck about no hair. I don't give a fuck about materialistic things, y'all. Everything is not a joke. Like, everything is not a fucking joke. I'm just, I just, bro, I literally don't know what the fuck to do. All I know is I make TikToks. So let me just do what the fucking TikTok. I know if I, I make a TikTok, I can't fuck that up. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do in real life. So yes, I'ma get on the fucking internet because well, who else am I supposed to like cry to? If, because y'all fail to y'all fail to realize when I get up on here, I'm looking at myself. I'm talking to myself. I'm being to my motherfucking self. That's all I know how to do, bro. I don't know what else to do. So this is what I'ma do, bro. But I think I'm just done talking about it. I think I just wanna like take my L and move on because my heart's so motherfucking heavy, y'all. I don't know what to do. I don't like coming on the internet crying. With all the issues Spirit didn't had in the past, I'm surprised they still in business. Yo, y'all won't believe what they just caught on camera, yo. Look at this. Bro, what's going on with the moon? Did you see that? Yo, peep this. This is the same thing that we just seen with the sun, yo. Peep this video real quick. I literally just posted this video the other day. This happened with the sun, look. It literally looked like it's the same thing, y'all. There's really something going on up there. Look at that. Bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If you're not at the point of, like, scratching your head yet, then I don't know what to tell you, man. Because I feel like these about to be a crazy next couple years on everything. Always remember to keep your head on the swivel, man. They call it a meteor. Crazy. Oh my god! Yeah, I think that video is old, but I'm not really sure whether it's real or not. I know it's old because I've seen it before, but I don't know whether it's real or not. You see Candace Owens going all in on which from. If Kamala Harris wins, we really gonna catch hell. You know why? She gonna make us pay for everybody who exposed the fact that she was never black. Now it's a spiteful neglect. I'm gonna get you ninjas back God for exposing man. the fact that I was never black. I wholeheartedly believe that. She is gonna target the hell out of us. And I'm talking about black people. This is exactly why she can't win. So you're saying, well, what, 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 you, what you're saying is anyone under 400,000 won't have taxes raised. Or are you saying that anyone above 400,000 will have a tax raise? I'm saying that there is going to be a parody around what the richest people pay in terms of their taxes. Right now, Anderson, you know, the document, it, it, it is well documented that some of the richest people in our country have gotten away with a zero tax rate. But if you're earning five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars $700,000 under your plan, there's a good it, chance your taxes go up. It, this, we can't have this conversation without knowing what, the, it's a very complicated situation, right? If you're As you go waltzing around the question again. I don't like boats. I don't do boats. Why did the captain go under the bridge anyway? That didn't make sense. Now, we've talked about sports, we've talked about your career. How about politics? Do you follow politics at all? Listen, if I start talking politics, my friends are not going to like me. Okay, let's just not do that, okay? Let's just not do that. All right, all right, tell me. 
Uh, well, just give me a little bit of tease. Do you go to, to the far right of the spectrum or the far left of the spectrum in politics? Are you conservative or liberal? Now listen, when I was younger, I was all out liberal. But as I get older and I look at my children and I see what's out in the world, I get a little conservative. You know, it, it, it's common sense. Looking at the world at the same time right now, you want safety. <laughs> And that's coming from Mike Tyson. We had BLM people out here burning down cities mm -hmm. and didn't even get three years. Right. This woman, all she did was pray in front of a abortion clinic, and she's getting three years. Yeah. It's ridiculous. From her family. Oh, this just goes to show y'all how much y'all vote. Vote is so important. Y'all have to vote. Y'all cannot let Kamala get in. That's Kamala's administration. That woman who sentenced me, that's Kamala's administration. This is what Kamala has been doing the whole time before she ever became, which as soon as she touched foot as an AG in San Fran, she was putting people under the jail. She gets a, she gets a joy out of that. She don't care about you being separate from your family. She don't care about none of that. This is the epitome of Jezebel. This is a feminist movement. And now you're watching the vibe between women and men because you're starting to see like, these women, they don't care about America first. These women, that oper they get this power and they operate from emotion. And they don't care about America. They don't care about nothing. They don't care about a person's life. They'll accuse a guy of rape in a second for a check. They'll tarnish their name, tarnish their character. These women have, we've allowed these women in power to become out of control. And, I'm, and, and any woman who is a leader that is not power pressed will understand exactly what I'm saying. Because not every woman is like this. Sad situation, man. Scary and sad at the same time, man. Do you think that black people got to deal with that now? Just imagine if she gets in there, which I'm still optimistic, and I believe that he's going to take it, right? But we this close, and things can change just like that. So there's that, that, that bit of fear right there. It's going to always be there, and I'm pretty sure if I got it, you guys got it out there too. I'm not gonna hold you, but that whole mukbang and SMAR with the food, that was created by the enemy. I'm gonna say this, it's gluttony. And when, no, you gotta think about it, when those women are eating, cause it's only mostly women. I ain't never seen no man do the SMR on the, with the mic, with the food. It's, it's, it's giving off sounds of what? Sex. And where does, where, where does that come from? Nah, that's real. I I used to have a problem with my kids watching it because when you're coming up the stairs and you hear their TV and you don't know what's on it before you get to it and you hear the sound, you think that's what they watch. And 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 it is it's a study that shows how sound can can control imagination. So if they're hearing these sounds, then they're automatically going to think about SEX. And I'm not saying that eventually kids won't experience these things, but this, they're forcing it down the children's throat. The kids have access to these things. This is why ASMR is so popular. If you go on places like Twitch, you have women with their breasts almost out, speaking into the microphones and doing those little sounds because people get off on it. It's weird though. It's actually weird. Uh, it's to get the mind, whoever's listening on the other end, that, that mindset. And granted, not everybody probably gets that, but that's what it was made for. Trust me, Let, think about the whole mac and cheese thing. I'm just, I'm just gonna say, put that out there. But listen, when y'all sit there and watch these people fill their bodies up with that junk, and it's like, oh, that is gluttony and that's us. It just looks so disgusting. I just got a new revelation. And although I used to bypass it and used to think like, oh, maybe I should do a mukbang. I used to think like that. But after researching and doing my studies on how deadly gluttony is, because I found myself there. I found myself overeating and I couldn't stop. And that's a lack of self-control. And that's what the enemy wants you to be. The enemy doesn't want you to have control over the things in your life. The more you don't have control, the more you allow the enemy in and he can do whatever he wants in your life.
God telling you to do this, to study. God telling you to be in his word. God telling you to open this, do this. And you so b- busy feeding your flesh because your flesh will soon desire, oh, the sweets, the candy, the food, the cheeseburger, all this stuff. And you're so distracted. It's all a part of the enemy's plan to distract you from your destiny. Think is a game. I know y'all think, oh, everybody, everything is, yes, everything is spiritual. It is. I'm sorry. And if you want to pretend like it's not, continue to be blind. She's right. Everything is spiritual. Why are you not allowing us to put them in the ballot box? It takes us about 25 minutes to... Listen to me. If you're dropping your ballot off at a ballot box drop-off location and there's somebody standing near one with a bag saying, yeah, well, we're going to be collecting those, but just save us some time. Fuck that shit. Don't ever give your ballot to somebody else. You take it to the ballot box uh, and drop it off. If if you feel like something hinky's going on, contact your local officials and let them know. But do not give your ballot to somebody else. Bullshit. Well, I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it here. This is exactly why I say get up and go and vote in person. Because those ballots that you can do at home were for a reason. I've never heard of ballots like this before. Before this, weird. Somebody put me on something because I've never heard of ballots like this. I've never seen anybody in my city, Memphis, Tennessee, do that. This is new. Everything is easy access, but everything that but everything that is easy ain't always a good thing, y'all. We got to get up and go and vote. Get your butt up and go like the old days, like it's supposed to be because these things are becoming a problem and they can easily weed out the votes that they won't go in and and, and and change things. Like, they could really do this. We gotta stop this. And the only way we can stop that is if we get up and go stand up. You getting out your house and going to the polls is you standing up for something. Gotta be done, y'all. I could sit here and rant, but I won't. And with that being said, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, Turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Get in the description and follow all of my social medias. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person. And if you want to see more dope videos, click the video.